Savage Finance, because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. Welcome to another edition of Savage Finance. This is your host, Glennon Cameron, serial digital entrepreneur. What we're going to talk about in today's topic is the first steps to financial freedom. If you are new to this channel, welcome. What I want you to do is go back to the beginning of the channel, the first channel page and watch the playlist and start watching these videos in order so you can get the economic benefit. The channel is built where each video builds upon the next video. Like the last video, I talked about the value of an emergency fund. This is one of the first steps to financial freedom because you set your life up where when life happens, it doesn't create financial chaos in your life. So that's one of the first steps. The second step is a written goal to how you want to live. I'm a big believer of goal setting and the esoteric. I will give you an example of what I mean. Uh, one of my other channels, I have something that's called the dream girl profile. And this is what I recommend men to do to write down the physical and personality traits of your ideal woman. Because once you do this, you go ahead and, and capture that woman mentally, you know what you're looking for. This, this is the type of girl that turns me on. So I want you to do is write a dream life profile. How do you want to live? See, many people let their money dictate their lifestyle. I'm a minimum wage worker. I'm going to live in this slummy apartment. I'm going to drive this old car. That is your money dictating your lifestyle. You as an articulate and elegant person should dictate your lifestyle first. So write up your dream life profile. Where do you want to live? How do you want to live? Do you want to get married? Do you want to have kids? Actually take a Saturday evening and just sit down and ponder and ask yourself these questions. How do I want to live? Where do I want to live? What type of lifestyle do I want? Do I want to live in a house? Do I want to live in a condo? Do I want to live in a high rise? And what kind of car do you want? Not kind of what kind of car your money can dictate you get, but what kind of car you want? If you want a Ferrari, put that on your dream life profile and then reverse engineer a way to create the income to get that type of vehicle. Because we're all about abundance here. Once again, we're not gonna be talking about minimalism. We're not gonna be talking like living pathologically cheap and doing these extreme things because here's the issue with being pathologically cheap. Once you get on that path, that becomes an indelible part of your personality. So even you can have millions of dollars and you're still going to be cheap. You're still going to be clipping coupons. You're still going to be staying at second rate hotels because money and saving money and not spending money is more important to you than living a good life. That is crazy. But you, you see this right now, this is being advertised as the way to get rich. Let me be bluntly honest with you. You can save money all day long. You can skip Starbucks. You can take a little baggy pa brown paper bag lunch to work every day. And that is not going to get you financially free. Financially free is going above and beyond what you're currently doing to create excess surplus income to invest in stocks, real estate, or a business that throws off cash. That's how you get financially free. You're not going to get financially free by being pathologically cheap or doing this crazy stuff. So what I want you to do is to sit down and write out your dream life profile. How do you want to live? Where do you want to live? What do you want to drive? If you want to get married, do you want to be a bachelor, put all of that stuff in there because this is going to give your subconscious mind direction. This is going to, Oh, so this is what Sam wants. Sam wants a beach house, Sam wants to live in Manhattan Beach, California. Sam wants to drive a Porsche. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our mind and activate 
the subconscious mindsets of the people who will help Sam achieve these goals. It is on you and it is up to you to create the dream life profile to activate the power of your subconscious mind because you don't have to be living in a bad neighborhood. You don't have to be driving a piece of crap car. Once again, it's a process. Going back to the video before this one, you need your emergency fund. That's to prevent you from disrupting your investments because once you start making investments, you will. So after you sit down and write out your dream girl, your, your dream life profile, I want you to take stock of your finances and then this needs to be written down. I want you to write all of the money that you have in the bank. This will be your assets, any property you have, any cars, furniture, everything that you own. I want you to put this list, put a price next to these items, and this will be your asset column. Then I want you to create another column of money you owe whether it's student loans, mortgage, car payments, and all of the balances. And what you're going to do, hopefully, if you're in the positive, you will subtract your liabilities from your assets and still have a, you know, a positive net worth. If your liabilities are greater than your net worth, then you have a negative net worth where many people are due to living this credit card lifestyle of an American society. So once you have a snapshot, cause you've got your dream life profile and you have real numbers and I don't want you guys to hide from your debt. Uh, one of the things is that many people, especially in marriage, it's like they'll have a bunch of debt and they'll literally put their head in the sand and ignore it and act like it doesn't exist. Yet it's back there in the background compound interest is working against you. You're having all of these things go on and you're hiding from it because you don't want to face it. I want you to face your debt. I want you to be accountable. I want you to know exactly to the penny how much money you owe. And I want you to know exactly to the penny what is your net worth if you have one. Because many people are not going to have a positive net worth. They're going to have a negative net worth. Then after you have your dream life profile, you're going to start working on creating the income to live that lifestyle because this is how you become financially free. It's planning strategy and action by taking action. Cause I will go ahead and share with you my dream life profile. I used to be in the storage auction business, which necessitated me being stuck in this horrendous Atlanta traffic. And when I shut down that business and I'll tell you the story, my business partner developed colon cancer. She was diagnosed as stage four. Uh, she managed to do almost four years and then she died. And at this point I got sick. So we were out of the storage auction game and I sat down and I did the very thing that I'm telling you that what's next, what do I want to do? How do I want to live? And because of being in the traffic and it's like, well, I want a business that I can work from home. I don't want to have to travel. I don't want to have to be on airplanes. I don't want to have to, I don't want to do public speaking. So this led me to creating an internet based business where I don't have business meetings. I don't have to do traditional business things to make money. I leverage the vast power of YouTube and the internet to make money. So for the last 10 years, I've been working from home. I've done videos in my underwear and I pretty much at one point, the income was so great. I was practically retired. My third year of doing this, I did $1.5 million in total sales of my book sales. And I was a retired person. I, I didn't have to go to work. I didn't have to work a job. I had a lot of money coming in. I had money in the bank. So I was living my dream life profile because I'm a very introverted person. I didn't want to go to meetings. I didn't want to have to be on planes. I, I, I didn't want any of that. I wanted the ability to control my time. I wanted the ability to work from home. And because I spelled out what I wanted and then I worked on finding a economic engine to power the life that I wanted, I got exactly what I wanted. And I will tell you, it, it gets a little weird when you start dating because when you're working from home, you have a lot of free time and you have a high income, dating gets to be very interesting because most women, because most of the world 
it's still on a weekend schedule. Only time I can do stuff on the weekend because I got to work. You know, I got to commute to work. I got to do work. You know, it, it, got, it gets very interesting. So I was hanging out with other digital entrepreneurs online and I was pretty much living like an elderly person in terms of going to the bank in the middle of the day, going shopping in the middle of the day. I don't do shopping and stuff, quote, on the weekends because I don't have to. If I need something, I go ahead and get it. So that is my dream life profile. Yours is going to be radically different. Maybe you are a person who likes being on planes. Maybe you're a person who likes going to events. Maybe you're a person who likes to do public speaking. So isolate what you like to do. And also, let me caution you about starting a business for the money. You've heard of someone named Kurt Cobain. If not, Google him. He was a fantastically talented individual. He was extremely wealthy and he ended up shooting, taking his own life through suicide. When you start a business based on money versus starting a business doing what you like, because one of the things is I love what I do. I love what I do. When I get a message like, hey, I've been watching your content, I've listened, I took action, and man, you know, my life has changed thanks to you. So thank you for the content, thanks for things you do. I love that. So I am living and doing what I want to do, and I have great affection for what I want to do, and I have great passion for what I want to do. So this keeps me from developing mental disorders or becoming an alcoholic or developing some other addiction because here's something that you didn't know. Many strippers, like the majority of them, have to get drunk or high to go out there and do what they do because they want the money, but they don't like what they do. And here on YouTube, you'll see many strippers start channels and once they start getting this digital income, they stop stripping. So never ever start a business that is out of alignment what you want to do. Maybe you are a person that's an exhibitionist. Maybe you love dancing. So you go out of the strip, you don't have to get drunk, you don't have to get high because you actually like the things that you're doing. And this is one of the things with your dream life profile because the first step is what do you want to live? How do you want to live? Where do you want to live? And then the second part of this is how we're going to get there. There are a million and one businesses you can start. There's a million and one ways to make money. And it's up to you to self audit and to pick what your thing is. Because this is your exercise. I want you to write up your dream life profile and spell it out. You know, what kind of car do you want? Exactly, put it on the list. No, you may not be able to get it now. By building this process, because I, I will tell you about my digital process, my digital business. The first year I made 62,000, the second year I made 92,000, the third year I made 1.5 million. It still took three years to get to where I wanted to be. It still took time. I didn't, you know, I knew where I wanted to go. I had a blueprint and a roadmap on how to get there and I did the work. So do not worry yourself if you're not in a position to get that house or to get that car or live that lifestyle right now. Let that go. The, the process is you need to start making decisions right now that will lead to those outcomes. Because once you do this, you're going to supercharge your life. You're going to create so much awesome personal power by setting these goals and having a strategy. Because I'm here to tell you, with the power of the internet, you can literally go from a minimum wage job to a six figure, or in some cases, a seven figure income within three years. It can be done. You will be working your butt off because when I started my first YouTube, YouTube channel, and I'll, I'll share with you, back then you couldn't just unload videos like you can. YouTube was nothing like it is today. I had to, it, I had to shoot the video, I had to edit the video, I had to use handbrake to reduce the size of the video. Then I had this Toshiba laptop that would cut off whatever I, I was doing a lot of videos, so I would have to wait till my laptop cooled off. And this was like an eight to 12 hour day just to make a video and post it and get it up. And I was working really hard. And this is the thing, you will have to work hard. There are no shortcuts to this. I know there are people who use the phraseology, work smart, don't work hard. Uh, sometimes the smartest thing you can do is work hard as you possibly can because this is going to get you results and this is and what and results are going to keep you motivated when you're getting results because I remember when I first started my digital journey 
I, I created a blog. It doesn't exist anymore. It was urbanpackrap.com. You can go to the Wayback Time Machine if you want to look at some of the posts. And I was writing blog posts. I was producing, and I wasn't really getting a lot of traction. Then I just said, hey, let me try YouTube. And the first week, I went from five or six hits per article to two to 300 hits per article to my highest traffic at that time at one point was 250,000 visitors per month. And I was making a lot of money. I was selling a lot of books. I was, and it, it, it's a process. So once again, don't worry if you can't do it now. Don't worry if you have a mountain of debt right now. This is now, this isn't the future. But if you don't make these plans and if you don't spell out what you want, you're not gonna get there because like with the Dream Girl Profile, and I tell people on my other channel, which is designed for men, to get the type of woman that you know what you, to get the type of woman that you really desire, you must know what type of woman you desire. To have the type of dream life that you want, you must know and define it and set goals and strategies for it. Because once again, most people let life live them. They don't live life. They don't purposely and intently live life. They're just out here waking up, going to work, paying bills, and they go home and eat, watch a little TV, go to sleep, and wake up and repeat the cycle. And this is why so many people are unhappy with their careers. This is why so many people are unhappy, period, because they're letting life live them versus setting up a strategy on how to live the life they really want. Like I said, I'm living my dream life, which is going to be radically different from your dream life. So what I want you to do is to watch this video two or three times because you, you're going to need to get all of this and then sit down and you know, do the exercise, find out what all your assets are, all your liabilities are, and create your dream life profile. If you want to live in a foreign country, put it on there. I, I will tell you, when I was a young man and I graduated high school, I joined the army. And one of the things I wanted to do was travel. And I was like, when, they, when I took the ASVAB, they said, oh, you can pick any job you want and you can pick any duty station you want. So I picked medical laboratory technician and I, my first duty station was Hawaii. I got to live almost in a foreign country. I could have went anywhere in the world I wanted to. So once again, watch this video two or three times. If you're new, go to the beginning of the channel, watch all of the videos because you're going to get benefit because each video built so on each video and do the exercises and start changing your life. So that's all I have for you guys. This is Glendon Cameron, the host of Savage Finance where we teach you things your mom and dad never knew. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment, be sure to watch the videos, and be sure to share these videos with people who needs this advice, because this is gonna be a radically different personal finance channel. So with that, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. People wanna talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes, trust me these things don't just happen No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you tryna eat, I produce it and rap it I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing Hey, you tryna cut out a piece of my pie, and I ask you politely, what's it that you offer me, yeah I produce all my own beats, and I have no intention of losing my publisher, yeah Independent individual, boy, I've been eating off passive residuals, yeah Let's be professional, thanks for your time but I had to decline at that principle hey, I've been scheming up a plan hey, I've been saving all I can hey, You can call me David Rams hey, The way I handle these bands hey, We ain't messing with the old model hey, You wear a new kid, we full throttle hey, Just know that the come up is not a flow My amigos, they focus, no one to do After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it After I get it, I reinvest after I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it Yo